It's been tough for a lot of folks, too, trying to stay healthy the last couple of years, and now we have cold and flu season right upon us. So an infectious disease expert's here to share how we can cut down on the number of days that we do feel bad. And joining us is Dr. Paul Kilgore with some tips for a speedy recovery. Good morning, doctor. How are you? Good morning. How are you today? Doing great. Uh, here, here's, I have a, we're going to take this in a couple of different directions. One, generally, if someone is getting sick this time of year, what are some of the tips that you have that maybe we can recover a little bit quicker? Great question. So a couple of key things. One is make sure you're well hydrated. And hydration means water. Anything that contains electrolytes will be very, very important. And also good nutrition. Even though you're sick, um, making sure you're getting a good amount of protein and the other vitamins that we take through our diet are very important. And third, I have to recommend sleep. Um, sleep is going to be very important in the recovery. And then the other thing that we also talk about is what we can do in terms of supplements. Sometimes we think about these as individuals, but actually now we think of them as groups. And we know certainly there's micronutrients like zinc can be very helpful in reducing the number of days that we're sick and severity. Um, we also know vitamin D is very important in the immune system actions. And one of the things we know is that if we have a good functioning immune system, that means we're gonna be able to recover faster and actually fight off these new bugs that are circulating. Some of those might sound familiar to people and something that might not be as familiar to people is something that might be in everybody's refrigerator right now. And that is an egg, specifically an egg yolk. How does that play into things? And, and is any egg something that would help or does it have to be a specific type? Well, one of the things that we do know is that eggs contain an enormous amount of protein. One thing we also know is they contain zinc, selenium, which is very good for our immune system, and actually other micronutrients. The other thing that we know we've discovered over the past 50 years is that there is a unique glycoprotein. We call it IGY. This is an immunoglobulin that actually can be extracted from the eggs. And now we've developed a method to purify this glycoprotein into a nutraceutical. This compound actually can actually then be taken by mouth. And one of the things that we've discovered is that it can speed recovery after endurance exercise or hard work, but also it helps can reduce or control inflammation that can occur during an illness, but also during endurance exercise or hard work. So I want to jump in. So Rocky might have been onto something in the first place with the eggs. Uh, but real quick, before we let you go, uh, a lot of times when we feel when we're sick, we just we feel malaise, right? We are we just want to not do anything. Uh, you're saying, you know, try to follow that path. Good eating, hydration. Should we be active even though we're not feeling well? A moderate level of activity is okay. I would recommend avoiding really heavy endurance exercise where you're doing um, long-term aerobic exercise, but some activity can help as you start that recovery process during any acute illness, uh, but keep it, keep it to a moderate level. All right, epidemiologist Dr. Paul Gilgore, thanks for joining us today, and I uh, hope you and everybody else stays healthy. Thanks much. You too. Thank right. you. It's 835. Tucker.